Look, I know we have the expanded edition of GTA 5 coming out in less than two months. But given the fact that Rockstar have not told us a single thing about it, and we're just sort of in the dark, let's talk about new DLCs. One of the things with this expanded edition, I'm hoping Rockstar sort of revamp the ocean and make it a lot better. Not only as far as being able to enjoy the ocean in a more crisp frame rate, because I know on consoles, sometimes you on the ocean, stuff drops, but also maybe a, a more diverse ocean with animals, with fish, with other various things out there. One of the other questions I've seen regarding, you know, future DLCs, it's like, what would Rockstar do next? You know, like what sort of business could they do next? Well, what I'm going to show you guys in today's video is a concept that answers that question and also would bring new life to the waters. And I think this is such an awesome idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. With that being said, I wanted to share this absolutely epic GTA Line DLC concept. And if done right, if followed with what these guys have created and come up with, I think this could be one of the best GTA Line updates Rockstar's ever put out. This DLC concept is called the GTA Online Aquatics and Other Antics. And the actual idea was made by, you can see, a Moldy Worm Gaming and Lucifer Reap. Uh, there's actually a trailer, which I'm not going to play. I'll just take some screenshots from it. Uh, if you actually want to see the whole trailer, I'll leave a link to it in the description. I would 100% go watch this trailer. It will actually make you think, wait, Rockstar didn't make this? Like, it's such a well-done trailer, and it fits with what Rockstar's done in the past. It, it legitimately, when I first saw this, I was like, wait a second, what? There's a new DLC. Rockstar made this. Uh, but no, it was made by the people that you can see. But uh, it is definitely a good watch. It's only like a minute and a half long. Definitely go check it out. Link in the description. But the Aquatics and Other Antics DLC concept, obviously, it has to do with underwater stuff and just water stuff in general. And this is a part of the map that has been severely underutilized. And this DLC concept adds so much to this area. Over the last couple of months, people have always asked, you know, what could the next business be? And honestly, there's not a whole bunch of ideas out there, at least not on the mainland. But this idea, this concept introduces some very cool stuff. So let's go ahead and hop in. We'll start with some of the screenshots from the actual trailer before we get into the details. So, of course, we have hoverboats. I've been wanting a freaking hoverboat in this game for so long, and uh, these guys did it. And you can see that is what's showing here. A little tease at the business from this idea is establishing your oil empire. And that's where, of course, the ocean comes into play. And uh, one of the cooler parts about this is that it adds underwater houses or, or mansions or I don't know, I guess whatever a property, I guess is what you would call it. And having something underwater would be pretty awesome. I mean, you can just see the giant windows. It would be amazing, especially in this upcoming ps5 edition where maybe animals come back so imagine having an underwater property where you can see actual sharks fishes and other marine life here we have another look at some of these stuff underwater i guess this is maybe this is more of the oil rig some interesting uh i guess vehicles down there a boat that can become a truck maybe kind of a cool idea we have flamethrowers in this update now i don't know if uh, using a flamethrower underwater in a glass container that you're in is a smart idea but it is cool and look flamethrower it's not the most useful weapon but i mean who doesn't want that of course we have another submarine that might be the one we just got and uh you can see the property from a distance and you can see some of the fish out there imagine this being you can see where there's some coral reefs it would just be very unique and I know some people already spawn on their submarine or their yacht, but imagine having another property out there that you can actually go in and enjoy the inside, right? Because the other ones are kind of cramped. And then the final picture uh, from the trailer that I just thought was cool was the actual like bedroom part. You can see again, this would be pretty awesome. I know we all want mansions like on a, on a coast and that would be great because we got an idea what that could look like with the Kyle Perico update, but underwater, this could be even cooler. Now, as for the actual idea let's go ahead and read what these guys had come up with so 
It's based off of a new trade arising off the coast of Los Santos, causing a sudden spike in the renovation and construction of new properties. And the market has been booming with the import of new vehicles and purchasable boat trailers. And that, of course, is uh, one of the pictures we just saw. Very cool. This concept will include new businesses, new properties, new boats, new vehicles, boat trailers, and new collectibles. And then the business. As oil rigs started popping up, the crews on board quickly grew tired of low pay provided by the government of Los Santos. This is where we come into play, I guess. Our characters would be able to invest in a personal rig, providing both passive and illegal money-making opportunities. And these are some really cool ideas. And this is just a picture of what you know a potential rig could look like. Obviously, Rockstar, they could make a couple of different options. And because they're in the ocean, there's not a limit to where these things could be, right? These things could be all over. And I'm not going to read this entire article. If you want to, I'll leave a link to this as well in the description. You can read through it yourself because most of the stuff would work like regular businesses, right? You just freaking call some guy and you purchase the rig and blah, blah, blah. But as they say, the oil rig, once you buy it, comes stock with a boat yard and a command center. And I guess this is a picture of what the boat yard would look like. Don't know where this would be, if this would be on the rig or if this would be somewhere on the land, but some of the other options, of course, you get a personal quarters, an armory, human torpedoes, which is kind of cool. It's an interesting idea. Be a way to quickly travel ashore. You shoot your yourself out, I guess. But what we all care about is how to make money. And this is a very interesting idea. So there are two sources of income. You have the passive income, which we all know this is what you do with like the gun running stuff, the bunker stuff, right? The uh nightclub stuff you earn income over time from the oil being drilled right that makes sense you can see it what it you know is drilling on the computer how much you have left you can also see where the barrel is being stored and then of course like every other business if you purchase more upgrades and stuff you get more money it fills up quicker the same old same old okay that's good there's also illegal goods and this is a very interesting idea they say you can make money illegally through the rig using the storage center to store stolen parts, illegally mine fossils, as well as other substances stolen by you to sell on the black market. And as far as selling, both sides of the business have a very similar sell mission structure. You'll be delivering the goods to the buyer to receive your payment, of course, and some buyers may be more picky than others. So that's where the variability comes into place. In addition to the oil rig, which is the main business part, you have some other properties. So you have some boat houses scattered around the map. I, I guess Rockstar could figure out a way to put, or, or where I guess to put those. This would be, I guess, Benny's, but for boats. So you take your boats, you can go upgrade them with new engine parts, performance parts, interior, exterior customization. They say you can take existing boats in here and make them personal vehicles, much like the Smuggler's Run DLC did with the, the hangar. And, and certain Pegasus aircraft. And they say you also get a boat trailer that allows you to pull your boat, obviously on a truck or whatever, and then you can get into the water with that. So a pretty interesting idea to switch things up. Also beachside properties. I, I don't know if these particular properties would be something Rockstar wants to make, but of course it's beachside property is something we've all been asking for. Give us some mansions, something to, to get a nice ocean view, right? And then they do go through some aircraft or some different vehicles that could be added in this hypothetical DLC. Uh, another jet, which would be cool. They have the Leviathan from San Andreas, which would be able to go on water and uh, air, I guess. Which would also be able to go on the water, like, of course, the Sea Sparrow and the Dodo. Uh, some of the vehicles are just some, you know, random vehicles. I'm not going to go too deep into this. Of course, though, you have to have one that goes on water. Uh, and then a bunch of new boats, right? So the biggest one being, I guess, the, the Vortex, which is a bike name in the game. But that's what it was called in San Andreas. The Hoverboat. That's all we want. And then new weapons. Flamethrower and an underwater pistol. Because, of course, we're doing stuff in the water. Need a weapon that can work underwater. And then the final part of this idea is that, of course, it would add some new collectibles. I mean, these things come with every DLC, and it's just good stuff to add. It's some minor things, right? But 30 valuable fossils sunken across the ocean. So just gives players some incentive to explore the ocean, of course. And then some new DLC clothing items. So that's just a given. 
But overall, I think this is such an awesome idea. And if Rockstar were truly trying to figure out what business could they come up with next, this is the perfect one. It gives us a, a different style of gameplay because you're selling stuff maybe potentially in the water. You're doing a lot of water activity. You're, you're using spaces that aren't really used a lot. And of course, it'll make them money because they'll have to charge millions of dollars for the oil rigs, for the beach houses, for the underwater property if you want that. And of course, for all the vehicles and stuff in the game. And I really like the idea of the two different types of money-making opportunities from this idea. You have the regular passive, you know, maybe legitimate money-making opportunity from just selling oil. That would work like normal. But then you also have the illegal black market trade where you maybe come across various items in the ocean, like the fossils or, I don't know, just various things in the world. You bring it back to your offshore place and then there are different sellers across the map that will buy them. I mean, I guess maybe it's similar to some of the other businesses like the crates and stuff, but, and even I guess the, the drug MC businesses, but it could be cool if a black market system was done right. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this particular DLC idea. It, it is for sure one of the best ones I've seen in the last couple of years. And if Rockstar wanted to just switch things up, give us something slightly new that's not a heist, of course, this could be a very well done DLC. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. If you want to see this DLC, also share that with Rockstar, right? I mean, more people that like the video, more people that tweeted at them. Uh, maybe they get an idea and they can figure out something from this. But also, definitely go check out the creator's links, the people who came up with this. I'll leave them all in the descri description. Check out the trailer as well. It is a very well-made trailer. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.